Hey all, back to questing and this is episode 43, please like, comment, subscribe, hope you enjoy. Played everybody here already, in terms of Gwent, that's cool. Yen's here. Oh dear, getting in fights with people again, cool. Alright, let's go. Um, right, let's go. Hmm. No. Alright, so we gotta get this sorted. Right, cool. Oh, this quest's boring. But you need to do it if you're gonna romance Yen. See, you've managed to prepare everything already. Right, let's get Killer Whale going. Not that it matters because Yen Nothing sorts it out so that you don't have to um, I didn't. be breathing Decided anyway. Hmm. Well, at least she's running. Lead the way. Just once you might try to take the initiative. Would you, you let, me? let me? No. It depend on the situation. Mm hmm She's got a great voice. Right. Right, that's that. Bothering looting this stuff just in case it does start a fight. I'll nick this dwarven spirit because there's no way that that's within range of anybody's trying to start anything, so that's cool. Right, cool. No choice about her taking the helm then. Why does it not just sit you in the boat? That's stupid. Sit down. Alright, cool. Not sure this gin thing's a good idea. We managed to see hey, I love gin. Do you remember? Course, they should call this quest gin and tonic. Lost his voice that time. <laughs> How lucky your exorcism saved it. Mm -hmm. It was poetic. Yeah, how was I supposed to know that incantation? That's a cool armor. Be gone and plow yourself. You Why have we got a bit of tearing there? That's weird. You can see, like, Geralt's head, head doubled up there and stuff. Your last wish that can't. That's not right. Why is it doing that? Oh, I suppose it's the aura that's emanating. Yeah, it's the actual deliberate thing. I was going to say, it doesn't make sense that we've got that. You can see it pulsing out and it's. In, like, you know, alongside that sort of. Mm, mm, noise. So, yeah, we'll go with that. Right, cool. There's something here on the bottom. It's too deep here. You can't dive that long. You underestimate me. On the contrary. Mm. After all, I asked you for help. I'll cast a spell. It will slow your heart for a time. You can stay submerged longer. Asad, I cried a rhythm. Ready. Careful down there. Cool. We'll be. We. Let's go swimming. Water warm enough for you. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming, just keep swimming, swimming, swimming. How's it going? Yeah, you know I hate it when you read my mind. Strictly speaking, I'm not reading your mind, but using telepathy. Besides, you've nothing to hide, right? I wouldn't admit it if I did. Oh, these things are annoying. I might turn off the uh, upscaling just for this bit. I'll look inside. This is boring enough already without these things taking like however many hits. Um, where are we at? Enemy upscaling. Remind me to put it back on later. I don't know how exactly you'd remind me, but I'll remind myself. Oh, they're level 18 anyway. Well, that sucks. That doesn't really matter then, does it? Dagnam it! Right, fine. No point having that on. Oh, well that sucks. Alright, cool. There we go. What are we looking for? Loot a Marana runestone. Terrific. Busted planks and a whole swarm of drowners. Probably mm. drawn by the corpses of drowned crew. Then made their nest here. There's also a clan drummond figure. Mm. Not the right ship. Come back up. Okay, so let me grab this stuff. Hinges fjall. Heavy armor, good stuff. I wonder if the thunderbolt affects your damage. I wonder if I'd be doing less damage with the crossbow were it not active. Just debating whether I want to try and keep 
delayed recovery active or if I can't be bothered for the duration of this little sailing trip. I might probably might as well just tap um it's not exactly difficult, is it? And just um tap in the potions button every now and again. Like so. When you run out of one potion that's already active, you just use one of the others, and then when you've run out of those, you can just switch them about. <coughs> Drown us floating all to the surface. It is still nice um, scenery and everything, so that's cool. And this, um, what's it called? This sort of um, sailboat skiff yachty thing. Um, does travel a lot quicker than when you do it yourself, or at least it certainly seems to. It should be like a speedboat mod or something. It should just be able to say, oh, you've got this magic, I don't know, magic tiller that Yennefer gave you, and now the boat can go at ten times its normal speed, just to get rid of the Let's painful see gameplay see arc of it. Because, um, oh my life, it is actually painful doing these kind of things. Right. Are they sirens? Oh, great, we've got sirens now. Again, not like it really matters, but it's just annoying. Okay. Okay. Look around, but be careful. Look for something that might indicate it's the Major's ship. He's going to be in major trouble. Oh ho 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 ho! Uh, right, let's find something that indicates it's the major ship. I cannot remember what the heck I'm supposed to be doing here. Uh, this little yellow circle would perhaps indicate that I'm supposed to be over here. A man's there we go. Somebody pinned his skull to the deck with an axe. Damn, dude. That's not good. Clan emblem indicates a demon man, so he was from Pharaoh. Yeah, got something. A Skelliger's buckler. Clan Hamai symbols. Donar's clan. Donar was a baby in swaddling clothes when this buckler landed here. Mm -hmm. Long ship belonged to Clan Dimon. That's a uh, Clan Dimon pirate. That's the uh, annoying card in the Skelga deck that scorches it. That scorches well, basically it scorches whatever's the highest, um, including itself, which is why I don't have it in my deck. You're getting better at this. Lost a, lost a few games with that card where it gets Clan Dumman Pirate, Dimon Pirate, where it gets brought back to start the third round and then scorches whatever your strongest card is, including it. Oh, how cute. Right, so something strange about those rocks. And yeah. on the bottom. We'll see what it is. Let's oh, okay. Dive, silver wing, dive. Any enemies around? Maybe. Where is Z ship? Something? something doesn't do it justice. Mm. A huge crater, as if a meteorite landed here. That's pretty cool. Diving in after all? No, I shall cast another spell to see through your eyes. Now relax. Now, there we go. I no. see Fultia Badem Ain at no gin here, but there's something you ought to like. Ooh. Silver. That is no meteorite crazy. What is magical it residue? The effect of teleportation. A powerful force cut out a fragment of the seabed. Sort of um, messing up all the uh, dialogue by doing things impatiently. Where is. There's a siren for a start. Take her out, at least it only took one shot. Where is the bottle? I want the bottle. Where are you? Ah. All oh, right, we got the seal thing already. Okay. I thought you had to find the actual bottle. No, we 
good. Apparently not. Right, let's go. If you wouldn't mind surfacing Geralt, that'd be great. Can you not swim swiftly to surface? That's annoying. I don't remember if that's the case or not. I might as well meditate when we get to... Um, I don't know what will happen when you fast travel actually. Um, let's just switch it up a bit so that I don't run out of... Well, anything. What else have we got? Not everything active, but... Get these ones at the ready. Should be uh, very easily able to keep it all stocked up in terms of delayed recovery still working. Which should be fine. Alright, cool. Rot row. You know he hates portals. Bright light, bright light. The brightest screen of them all. Cool. I did. Look. Mm. But you Right. Let's go. Alright. We re so you There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to know if there we go. You see? Come, let's Let's go. Got very good matching armor when you've got the forgotten woven set actually. It matches Saint well with um quite the eccentric Yen. That's cute. Jin to lift half his ship to a mountain top. Mm. He didn't necessarily. Jins are inherently mischievous. This they are inherently mischievous. What a mischief. So. What a mischief. Nothing interesting here. No. Oh, this isn't the right room. Dagnam it. Uh, oh is it downstairs? Yeah, it's downstairs. Okay. I think I had Spectroil already. Is that Spectroil? Interesting. Oh, Elementoil. Okay. It was meant to be Spectroil. I put the wrong one on. Well, seeing as all the uh, delayed recoveries are worn off anyway, let's put on the correct oil for a start. Pretty sure it's Spectroil for Jin. For the Jin. What do we want? Um, we need a little bit of extra health. Petri's is always good. And then the rest will make it up of the other ones. Alright, cool. Nice shoes. Looks like the ancient was loud here. Mm -hmm. So powerful. Someone was dragged across the deck. War Nothing interesting. Smart when the ship suddenly mm -hmm. tipped to one Nothing side. interesting here. Cool, now what? Right, so we move the bed, we find the corpse, he got flattened. There we go. Right, let's go and sort this gin out. Now, they're supposed to fix the enemy upscaling thing, so it's not supposed to be such a devastatingly annoying fight. Because the uh, enemy upscaling used to throw it way out of whack, so it was very difficult to win. You could still, you could still beat it, um, it's just you took an absurd amount of damage. Um, I actually did beat it with enemy upscaling on once, I'm fairly certain. Um, but I can't remember how particularly, but whatever. Step back a bit. What are you going to do? Alright. Summon and tame the djinn. Cool. Tame uh oh. I guess we're just supposed to have to djinn and bear it. I just I make the worst jokes. I would apologise, but then just saying sorry means that you're not going to do things again. And I fully intend on carrying on making tremendous jokes, uh, tremendously awful jokes. So yeah, Three normal amount of damage. That's cool. Yeah, that's a great, great. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So it's just doing a normal amount of damage. So it like really doesn't matter how much damage it takes from it, effectively. So. Alright, fine. We're doing a reasonable amount of damage, so I can't just run into it. Can we throw a shot at it? Nope, didn't hurt. Right, so, mental note. They don't really work. What about poisoning? I would guess it can't be poisoned, but always worth a try. Ah, get out of it. Nope, bounces the bombs back at you. Well, that's annoying. What about Ard? No, Ard doesn't work either. Ah, damn, man. Alright, okay. Whoa, why am I losing health so quickly when I'm supposed to be stood in my own poison? 
Okay, so it still does quite a lot of damage then. Um, okay. Let's try this. That is doing a lot of damage. So, I've got my white honey. And my white rafford. Get my vitality back up. And then, uh, get swallow and everything back on. That was doing a lot of damage. So, we'll get the superior blizzard. And we'll try and hide from this thing a little bit. We need to get some health back. Doing a lot of damage still. I don't know how you're supposed to. Uh, I don't remember having this much difficulty with it before. Although I would have had, you know, um, a greater amount of um, damage from Euphoria, obviously, because it's broken as hell. Can you set it on fire? No, it doesn't react well to magic or bombs. So, unsurprising, but good to know. Uh, right, so we're just going to wait and try and get some toxicity back so I can uh, keep Quen up and have the uh, superior Tawny Owl active. Still a little bit away from that. So. Dodge away from that. Hit it with Rend. That did a reasonable chunk of damage, so that's cool. Yeah, it is quite strong, isn't it? But still takes a lot of damage from that, so that's cool. I can feel his strength waning. Yeah, yeah, we're good. Oh well. Oh, damn. Well, that did a lot of damage. Just waiting for that toxicity to wear down a little bit, so I can uh, make sure that I keep. This is how I fight when I'm, you know, being a little more cautious and actually trying not to take damage, um, because. You want to be keeping Quen up if that's the case. Still takes a lot of damage from Rend. And uh, as soon as I've got that little bit of adrenaline there, I'll be able to whirl and should be able to finish it off. Nearly died, but not quite. Managed to rescue it. And that is why it would have been good to have my superior White Rafford. The one time that I would have needed it. Got you. Um, but yeah. Your master died. That's pretty cool. His love, we can struggle like this. There you go. So, Storm's wicked. That was fun. And actually reasonably difficult. There we go. Feel any better? I don't need to. Alright, cool. Thank you for coming, Geralt. Cool. There we go. Well. I expected. Oh, look at him. But it's not like that at all. Nothing's changed. Absolutely grim if you yeah, break a heart. Oh man, I can't even take it. Why? Because I don't feel that anything's changed either. Oh, look at my cool armor and swords, though. Wicked. I love you, Yen. Oh. And I love you. Sorry for the people who wanted a Trish playthrough on this one. I just can't bring myself to do it. It's like you read about what she's like in the books and stuff. I can't really get into the books. I tried, but like. What's next? Anyway. But I doubt the world. <sighs> My, it's lovely. It is lovely, Yen. Very nice. Well, good. Right, cool. So that's the last wish done. Didn't really take that long, so that's cool. And then we're teleporting away from said ship. Uh, what else have we got to do? Uh, I think we can just do most of the. We can either do some of the contracts or I can do the Kemor and stuff. Probably would like to do some of the contracts, but might do a couple of them before I get like over leveled. Because when you go to K Morin, you end up getting like an absurd amount of levels because it's all main quests and you get like thousands of EXP for it. You normally end up, I think I normally come out of K Morin being ended up like level 25 or whatever. So it'll be way too high. Um, so, what now? Right, cool. Let's go. Right, so we get all this stuff sorted. There we go. I'll take it. Mm -hmm. Right, sorted. Uma, uma, uma. Right, so got to sort out the ugliest man alive and all that stuff. Uh, right, cool. Let's go and do some quests, shall we? Uh, right, so we've got the Uma quest to do. We don't want to do any of that stuff. Anything interesting? Oh yeah, we need to do Kim's, King's Gambit. Ah, dang. Alright, alright. We should do King's Gambit really whilst we're here. And then... We can do things like... These ones. Uh, here comes the Groom. So, that's the one with... That's a Necker. That's a Siren. That one... Well, Echidna, I think. Uh, that's obviously Phantoms. 
spectres and that is a water hag if I recall properly and then that's the ancient lesson that's the only quest in the main game that actually has the ancient lesson um, the other one is like the dark stone legacy one or whatever it's called which is a hearts of stone quest so there are only two ancient lessons in the game only two opportunities to actually get that mutagen um, and you have to choose to not make the sacrifice to the altar to try to appease the lesson you have to choose to actually uh, fight the ancient lesson at the end of in the heart of the woods or whatever it's called that quest all right so let's ride roach speak to crack and then we got to do king's gambit side with Ceres to get the uh, place of power as well and then when we've done this we'll uh, do a couple of those contracts and then I'll go and uh, do the Kaer Morin section of the game which will be cool the Forgotten Woven set that I'm wearing will last me until level 34 when I can get the Mastercrafted set because it just goes regular Mastercrafted and Grandmaster for this one so that's cool so uh, less wasting of time there Is this where you've got the vid cards? I think it is, yeah. Alright. Cool, cool, cool. Come. Let's go. That's Arnvald. How's the mood in there? Come. Too calm. Indeed. We've an adage here at Skellige. At a good feast, mead and blood flow in equal measure. Surely that you consider this barbaric on the continent. Makes no sense. Sure. Yes, a little bit. Sounds preferable to dull banquets garnished with court intrigue. Mm. I might just have a quick break actually in real life and then we'll uh, we'll go from there. Pick it up next time. I have as much right to it as you do. <clears throat> this is completely unrelated to what I'm just doing because I had a break in real life and now I'll come back to it. But I've just realized, isn't the gin an elementor? Why did that take me so long? Why did I was like I'm so used to taking massive damage from it. I didn't even think that it could be because I had the wrong oil. Let's have a look. Yeah, it is. Jin's Elementa. No wonder I was taking so much damage. <clears throat> also, again, one of the few things you can use the uh, Dime Riching Bomb against. Uh, you can do some fist fighting stuff here, but it's super boring and I don't want to. So, yeah. Uh, let's skip that bit out. Where's Crack? There's Burner, being a numpty, numpty being the uh, polite version. I can't believe I forgot the gym was an element. I knew that as well. <clears throat> well, this is why if you're going to be not using the uh, auto what's his face thing, auto oils, then you got to know your potions. You got to know your aha. You got to know your um, beast Jerry. I wonder if this automatically draws your silver sword for these. You'd think they'd be silver sword, right? Uh, yep, silver sword. Cool. So for this, shall we use the correct oil? Which, in fact, we should already have because. Oh no, we don't. Oh, I did have the elemental oil. Maybe I did put the correct oil on. I can't even remember it now. Whatever. Anyway, barely certain these things are cursed, so let's go with that. Uh, yep. And then make sure we've got enough for Superior Swallow, as always. And then we should be able to do a ton of damage to these anyway. Oh wow, yeah, they take a lot of damage. That's cool. Get out of it. Right, there's one. Come here. Don't you kill these nice little people. They're just trying to have a banquet. Somebody spiked your drink. You're getting all arsy. Crazy. Ooh, wrecked. Short decoction to uh, stop you getting knocked over if you ever got enemies that knock you over like that. I believe I'll have to test it as well this time, but I believe short decoction also weirdly um, stops the bats from Detlaf's uh, notorious bat attack or infamous bat attack um, from killing you, which is weird. Right, sorted. And? What do you mean, and? What do you mean, and? I just sorted that out and took them out. Anyway, pretty cool. Right, so that got us an. Oh no! He's dead. Oh no! Hmm. Anybody see him? Don't matter. Learn all you want. Hey, the yards aren't listening. Our honor's at stake. Are you listening to me? Mm-hmm. 
Yeah. Right. Thanks. Fine. What a numpty. Dirty beggar. Anyway. <coughs> level 21. No. Uh, means that we should be able to figure this out. I hope you don't have to go through the white text on this and can just stick to the yellow one. Sometimes dialogue options get opened up by different things. I honestly cannot remember off the top of my head if this is one of those cases, but whatever. Um, I'm sure we'll live either way. Uh, what was I going to do? Oh yeah, character. Extra point. So, put two points in razor focus. Could also get deadly precision. I don't have anywhere to slot deadly precision yet, but I could um, put it over something else or I could wait until I get to level 22. The reason I'm not going to use those points yet and potentially I'm going to get deadly precision is because it makes it way easier to get the mutagens, now uh, the mutations in blood and wine. Now you could do that really early if you have deadly precision because it lets you kill all the enemies in that quest even though they're very high level enemies. So I'm you you can do that pretty easily at like well you can, it's not easy but you can do it at like level 16 or 17 so I could do that um, and then I could use those two points to get that skill and then go and do it or I could put like wait for one more point and then when I level up I'll have another slot and I could put hunter instinct or killing spree on which is also very tempting now the thing that I'm thinking though is if we have enough greater green mutagens you could get toxic blood get the mutations and then get toxic blood and what toxic blood would let me do is it give me another green slot because it give me the mutation strength and synapses slots in the middle so if I got enough of the mutations which I believe is only two for the first strength and synapses slot I could unlock two of the mutations and then I would have another slot in the center I've got enough blues and enough greens to be able to get uh, magic sensibilities or toxic blood and then I could use those and uh, put um, you know put a, a skill in the center if I had toxic blood which would let me use endure pain or acquired tolerance again and it's just kind of interesting but I'll not do that right now I'll probably end up doing the care more and stuff first and if I'm doing the care more and stuff first then um, the whole it's a bit of a moot point because by the time I, I do the care more and things Yes. Um, by the time I, I do the Care Morin stuff, I'll be at like level 25 or whatever, nearly level, probably level 25 or 26. And at that Number point, you're um, well on the way to uh, basically having the next character slot after that as well, um, because you get one at 20. I want to say one at 22, one at 26. It's 25 or 26. You get the last mutagen one at 28, I think. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Let's have a look. Let me have a think. Right. So we've got a. Where's Yord? He's over here. Mhm. Mm oh, this dude's dead, man. That sucks. Broken bones. Hard to say what exactly killed him. Ow. Very, very painful. Alright, let's talk to Hort. This guy. It tells you it's my drone, but we already know that because we've been using all the cards, haven't we? Mmm. There we go. Aye. What up? Mm-hmm. Warriors who ate Mardrome were said to transform. Only a limb. Yep. Even. Yes. Blood. All right. Sorted. What else? Follow service to the cellar. The king's gambit. Yeah. Cool. Come on then. Let's go. Hey, I'm waiting on you, chick. Run. How am I supposed to follow you if you're not going? We must find the traitors quickly. Elsewise, the warriors will take matters into their own hands. Castles are buzz already. Think that it's had castles are buzz already. Okay, not other. wrong. All in the finest Skellige tradition. Haven't had a good civil war in ages. Mm-hmm. Something I've always wondered. What did you? Need I've decided it's Irish, not Scottish. On my life, I'm so bad with accents. Anvod said the same. Uh huh. For a feast to be any good, meat's got to flow, but so does blood. Yeah, that's weird. Very strange. Right, so uh, this bit is the bit where you get the place of power after doing this. And um, this is why you can't get it if you choose to side with Hjalmar, because you go off and do the other bit. Um, you do get a sword at the end of doing Hjalmar's quest, which can have uh, the highest critical hit damage in the game. It can have... Um, 
You'd have to re like reload, get the sword, reload, get the sword until you get it, but it'd have a maximum of 199% critical hit damage, which is obviously a lot. Um, so, yeah, technically, that's the highest highest damage one. Yikes. Right behind you. That's a relief. Uh huh. Yep. Blood into mushrooms. Think we can find out where mm. this barrel came from? Looks different. And then somebody throws in a lantern. Oh no! Oh no! Row row. That sucks. Boom! Get rid. Sweet. And this is why. Uh, this is where you get the aforementioned place of power and this is why you can only do it so if you don't do this quest and don't side with Ceres this um, undiscovered location will always be missing it's the one under the castle and you can't get it otherwise so there's another ability point there we go oh look a little hussy whoops knocked it over my bad all right so now we've got to find the purveyor of the mushroom -ness. That's not a word, but you know what I mean. No. Alright. Hmm. First, I'm going to loot some stuff. Bear hide, just for irony. Excellent. Irony. Baldrick, do you know what irony is? Yeah, it's like goldy and bronzy, except made out of iron. Blackadder. For anybody who doesn't know, among the best comedy programs ever made, in my humble opinion, just saying. Right, loot all this stuff. Plenty to sell. Good source of, um, you know, things like the uh, Tamarian rye. Sell for quite a lot, as we've already shown in this playthrough, and selling them to Alchemist. All my life. You know, one of the things that I really love that they added in um, Blood and Wine was the like, you know, the whole piles of things that you only had to press once to loot. That was really good. That was a good addition, because it makes no sense to have to loot all this stuff separately. But, you know, at least they fixed it in Blood and Wine. And it's, you know, it's hardly a counterintuitive thing for each barrel to be a separate thing to loot. But hey-ho. Mm. Yeah, that's convenient. Oh, I thought it was something interesting, but it wasn't. Whoops. Try and punch a book. Makes sense. Why can't I get that? I was going to say, it's just going to annoy me otherwise. Not that I actually need it or it makes any difference, but yeah, whatever. Could you ask for clearer print? Trail breaks off. Sticky mm. to find another clue nearby. Something else to follow. What is that? <gasps> it's a convenient scrap of... No, I was going to say... I was going to say uh, parchment. It's not parchment at all. Clothing. Does this give me a scent to follow? Oh no, it's on bold. We already know it's on bold. That's cool. Okay. I wonder if you can use the uh, superior blizzard thing to make it easier to chase him down on Roach. I'm gonna try. Oh no, because that was a cutscene, so now it'll have one off anyway. Damn it! Get him! Oh, see, now I'm not in danger. I can ride normally. That's weird. Why does Blizzard count you as being danger on the horse all the time, except now? Uh, no, we won't. Alright, so just get alongside him. Give him the old hacky hack. Go, go. And if you, um... Yeah, if you hold the slash either of the uh, blade buttons, so I used square there, so fast attack, slows down as you get close, it's at least one decent thing that you learn from that irritating um, tournament in um, Tucson, so yeah, there we go, then Svanrig turns his mother in. Which, you know, is at least pretty decent. I've never done it with Spanrig being the ruler. I always done... I've done Shalmar once and I do Ceres the rest of the time. 
because she's a lot, you know, a lot better, more level-headed ruler. But also, um, but also, you get a place of power. So gameplay-wise, I prefer that as well. Uh huh. There we go. Yeah. Calm yourself. Burn it a lot. Hold. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Silence. Wait. Son, not now. Why not did now. You How did you know? Hi. You stay silent. You gave Ceres no credence. You gave the Witcher no credence. But you must give credence to a son who accuses his own mother. Oh dear. I suppose her doing. She shamed herself. Me. The family, the clan. How are the family and the flan, clan different? The flan. You. Oh dear. For you. you admit to this deed. You admit to this deed. The of their of the yard, says. I mm. cleanse the neck. You will be Ruh -ruh. to a rock, to perish of hunger and thirst, and sea fowl will peck apart your remains. Wounded. You can actually go and find her chain to the rock as well. That's why her card has her chain to the rock as well in the Skellige deck. Great card though. Yeah. Anyway, um, right, so we've got all that stuff. Good, good, good. Cool. Um, cool, 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 cool. Right, so this is the, this is that sorted. Do we go straight to the coronation? I think we do. Oh no, because they've got to vote yet, haven't they? I can't remember how it goes, but yeah. That's that bit done. Nice. So we've done that. Now I'll go and do some uh, contracts, I think. Probably go and do the Necker one first so I can get the um, enhanced superior, enhanced White Rafford, and then I can get the superior White Rafford after that. Death from above, crossbow. We used to play Halo 1 on the Xbox. Oh my god, that was a good game. Um, and we used to play it when somebody, uh, we used to play Rockets. We used to jump down and blast somebody with the rocket launcher and go, it's death, it's from above. Because this was before the Xbox Live days, so. It's death, it's from above. I was very good at Halo 1, actually. If I do say so myself. Right, cool, so that's Ceres sorted. I think that's everybody. Uh, there is a merchant here, but... I don't think it's somebody you can play at Gwent. Where is my Well, Kingmaker. Nope. What do you do? Cool. Oh, what have you got? Superior cat. I uh, should get that, I suppose. Right, and then torn out page for a Necker decoction. Why not? Just because they're the missing ones. Um, do I want a potion of clearance? No, at the moment I do not. Thank you. Right. Cool. Uh, speaking of Neckers, like I say, I'll go and do that side quest next. Alright. Got myself another point from that place of power as well. Um, and I'll decide how to use that in due course, obviously. Uh, right, so we're not going to do the Uma quest just yet. I'm going to do some contracts. Let's do some witch contracts. Start with the lowest level one, so we'll do... Strange beast. That's cool. Uh huh. Can't remember how you do the bit that resolves everything with. What's that dude's name? Madman Lugos. Him. Not quite sure how we uh, what we're doing with that just yet. I can't remember which order you need to do things in. I'm going to travel to Loft. Lofferton. I don't think there's anyone to play there, but I just want to double check, so we shall see. You know, play at Gwent, obviously. Hmm, not sure. I've only got like two more Gwent cards to get, uh, apart from the leader cards that you win for each round of high stakes. Is there anybody about here that I haven't played? So this is Lofferton. That's locked for a start, so that's no good. Have I played anybody in this settlement? I can't even remember, you know. I feel like this should be people about. Maybe not. 
Yeah, I think I have. I've been here before, obviously. And so I guess I would have played people if there was anybody about to play. Right, let's go and uh, beat up this necker then. Winner. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. Look at me in my bad self. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Right. Neckers being ogroids, I've already got that on my sword, so that's cool. The oil, I mean. Uh, is that a... Oh, wow, no money in the tree. Normally those type of trees have money in. All those types of stumps, anyway. Right, where was I? I was looking for tracks, right? So, let's find some tracks. Where do they go off? There they go. Tracks lead into the woods. Yeah. Cool. Alright. Found a good place for them. Found a good place for the what? I cut you off mid-sentence. I do apologise, Geralt. Uh, what do I want to be adding? Right, I've already got Petri active, so we'll need to... Uh, looks like we've already got Full Moon as well. <clears throat> so that's cool. Hmm. Right, let's go. That's not good. I could really do with the um, golden oriole, couldn't I? Wow, that is. Wow, that is losing me some health at a pace. Why is that doing such an extreme amount of damage? That's crazy. Okay, well, there's the necker anyway. Let's swallow, recover my uh, health. I think that. Oh, there's another necker. Fair enough. I think that first port of call will be uh, getting the uh, Golden Oriole, so that I can recover health from that. I wonder, right, so in theory, if I just get Golden Oriole active, then I run into that cloud. Will it, like, heal me super quick? Seems the Neckers have developed an immunity to the toxin. Hmm. And now it protects their nests. Very clever. That was me reading the subtitle, obviously. Uh, right, so now we can get that. That's cool. And now we just need a white gold, which we can make fairly easily. And we also need an ether. So, white gold, make that. There we go. Well, that was easy enough. And then uh, we've got enough for an ether. Oh, and then we'd need another white gold itself. Okay. Right, cool. And we can make both of these. Excellent. Poison protects their nest. Right, so now I've got the Golden <laughs> Oriole. Wow, look at that healing, that is absurd. Well, that was doing an absolute monstrous amount of damage, but now it's uh, instead healing me a monstrous amount of damage, so that's cool. Uh, right, cool. Excellent. Right, let's go and kill the Neckers. Come on, you ugly little beggars. Get these things around here. Wow, they go down quickly with that. That is a lot of damage. Where are you? There you go. No point popping a blizzard just yet because we've got a cutscene where the um, Necker Warrior, that's the actual contract beastie, turns up. Oh. This thing, in fact. Well, that's cool little, uh, is that how the handle of the sword actually looks? The hilt is actually that sort of ivory colour. That's interesting. All uh, black and white style. Oh, that's cool. I love with the runes on the sword and stuff. Right, so, there is Haguban. That's pretty good. Whoa, that fire does a lot of damage to him. That's cool. Right, so, uh, we've got superior tawny owl, still got griffin school techniques and our medium armour, which is why we can uh, very comfortably get the um, resistances and take those hits with protective coating. So Hakuban should pop up again, there he is. You could also, if you really wanted, um, inflict bleeding with the uh, broadhead bolts or the tracking bolt or any of those. Any of the ones that do bleeding um, you could use. Don't have any broadhead bolts yet, apparently, but they were the only ones that I really use very often. So kill that thing. Yeah, yeah. How much does Ren do to one of those? A lot. Big surprise. 
Uh, Erden's always very useful against these, I find, as well. Get even more slowdown. Uh, and then we've got the slowdown from Superior Blizzard. So that just makes everything way easier, especially because we uh, essentially get infinite actions from stamina, so we'll get the infinite whirl as well, as you can see there. And that thing's going to try and run away again. So it's quite a protected little fight, this one, because of that. But doing a couple of thousand with each hit of rend, so get the stun from the 5% uh, rune stone as well. And then uh, obviously fire damage as well. And because we've got the superior blizzard with the three, uh, because we've got superior blizzard with the three adrenaline points, we've got infinite whirl as well at the minute if we needed it. So cut him down with rend, nice and easy. Take that trophy. Good. Well, that was a fun little com com bit of combat. Nice and easy. Slice it, you take it. And lots and lots and lots of mutagens, which is another really good reason to do this quest, actually. Um, quite aside from the neck of clothes, neck of blood, and all that. You get a ton of other things, like mutagens from some of them, so got a fair few there. Well worth doing. Ooh, what are those? Are they more neckers or are they wolves? Can you hear them? Not sure what they are. We'll see. If they try and attack us when we get out here, we'll see what kind of enemies they are. That was interesting. <coughs> oh, is this where I came from? Can you actually go the other way? You probably can. This is where we came out, yeah. Or where we entered. What type of enemies are these? Wolves. Yep, don't want them. Not bothering with any of those. Right, so... Where to next? Collect the reward. I can do that! So we get the reward first, and then we go and... Do another quest. I'll probably do the one with the Water Hag or the Siren next. Those would be the most level appropriate ones. She's only just telling you about a uh, thingy. Horse racing. I can't be bothered with horse racing. Don't need any rewards of the, that nature any longer. And haven't needed for a very long time anyway, to be fair. Right, cool. So, next, what have we got? We are going to do... I'm uh, going to leave Phantom of... Ed 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 that one. Uh, which is closest, so... Actually, it doesn't matter, because I'll be fast travelling there, so... I'll do them in level order. This one's a level 18 one, this one's fun. Um, how we do it on inventory space? 88, still got loads. That's cool. Let's do this. Um, where we at, where we at, where we at? Right, so, investigate the place using your witcher senses. Right, cool. This one's the one we want to go to, if I recall, properly. So, we'll go from the crossroads. We'll go to this one. Hey witches, thank you for watching, I appreciate it. Please like, comment and sub, love the support. And I'll see you all next time on the path.